well, our numbers are down and we need to rebuild the armed forces. We need to get the numbers back up. We need to rebuild the readiness that's required to be able to deliver operationally. And we've got to do it with, uh, with a sense of, uh, of urgency and priority because it is affecting our ability to respond around the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we are short. It's affecting our readiness. And so what is readiness? Well, it's the ability to respond at speed and at scale. And so it's going to affect the scale piece. Yeah, we can still respond, but smaller numbers. Um, and so that that is of great concern. We've got to change the narrative here as well. And it's not just the Canadian Armed Forces that needs to be concerned about Canadian Armed Forces recruiting. If we are truly, if we truly believe that Canada uh, is worthy of defending, that means all institutions, government, um, elected officials at all levels, media, yourself included. Um, talking about the benefits of joining the Canadian Armed Forces because this isn't this isn't about us the Armed Forces is not self looking ice cream cone you know we're here to defend our way of life uh, now and, and into the future and if we believe as a society that our society is worth defending well we this needs to be a whole of society effort to to help us bring the Armed Forces back to where it needs to be for the, the dangerous world ahead it's super hard because this is the institution that I've grown up in I've spent almost four decades in, and so making those, some would call them significant changes, but what we're facing is not going to, there, there's no one single solution that's going to be the be-all and end-all to um, address the challenges that we need. There, there's many, many, many initiatives, and, and so it's a case of embracing them, um, try, or experimenting. Of, of trying new things uh, because the path we are on, the path, the stuff that we've tried, um, it hasn't been working out that great.